This is Argedon 55 and I was going to review my um, wireless small security camera thing but the problem is I reversed charged one of my chargers so I can't plug it in with my radio receiver and charge it so I can't do that until I get a charger okay so then what else did I get to review? Well, I, mean, I didn't get it to review, but like, what else do I have? Well, I got like a cheap mid Chinese tablet thing, and guess what? It broke. So I had this, and it worked the first couple hours, and right now I'm reformatting the software, so I can't review this. So I'll do a review of a figure that's been reviewed a thousand times, and that is the Halo Reach Sword. The problem with this figure is it's too big for the Warthog. I call him the fat one. Um, that's a cool figure, but he's just too big for everything. And he comes with a good chain gun. So, two accessories. First one is his backpack. It's got some good paint and yellow writing on it. And you could peg an extra gun in the back or a grenade. So, and then it just uh, pegs right into the back of the figure. This. That's a pretty cool heavy machine gun, but it's hard for him to hold. And I don't know what's going on with the back thing here. Maybe it's a ripped off emplacement turret. I'm not sure I've played Halo in a while, but yeah, it's a pretty cool machine gun. So, figure's head moves, spins around. His arms move, and they're like um, gear joints, so it's kind of like a robot. Gear joints here, gear joints in his hand, and then he can spin back and forth. He can't actually turn, but he can a little bit. And then same thing here, gear joints in his foot and knees. That's kind of cool, his tip of his foot has its own joint. His legs can move back and forth, spin, he has a little green patch that says B+, plus. Oh, there you can see it, then he has an emblem, which I'm not sure what that is because I don't play anymore, it's on his head, and it's on his 